is it Hell yeah. is it twerking? The bit weight is stable. The bit weight seems is stable. Um and it seems like there's a much shorter delay. <laughs> this is our quotes. Oh, a bit late immediately. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, hello, gang. How's it going? Uh, um, thank you guys for bearing with us <laughs> through our technical difficulties. Um, but hello, hello. We are here. We are back after several months, and we are just, it's going to be a very a, a very chill stream today, because I'm sure you're all aware, but several months ago, um, a new update for Minecraft came out, and we did not look at it on stream like we normally do. Um, and the reason for that is because I have not been able to play Minecraft in a really, really long time because I lost my account and I had to repurchase <laughs> it. I don't know. It doesn't really look like it. It doesn't really look like it is to no, me maybe. either. Oh, okay. No, it no, looks, it, no, it looks it's, fine. It's, it's not the best. <laughs> it's not the best, but it's moving okay. Um, We're playing the latest update, not the snapshot. We're playing 1.19.2. Yeah. Um, because I never looked. I, I know literally nothing about the update that came out a really long time ago at this point. Because again, I, I lost my account. And I had to repurchase Minecraft, and I kept putting that off because I didn't want to repurchase Minecraft, and so I have not played it in a very long time. It is still quite laggy, it seems. Um. Really? Yeah. It looks okay. It does not. Look on at all, it. It, okay, well, it's jumping around a little bit, but it's moving. Well, yeah, they said it's better. Okay. I don't know what to do to fix that. I've done everything in my power. <laughs> we changed one setting. Yeah, that's the only thing <laughs> that it lets you change when you're live. I mean, my Minecraft game is kind of laggy in and of itself. Maybe I should... Do you have any things open on your computer? I don't know. Maybe. Oh, Minecraft appears to be crashing now. Maybe that's probably the problem then. <laughs> Loving this. Jeff says, yeah, they turned Minecraft into a horror game. Yeah, I've seen some of the Warden's animations and I'm none too pleased about them. We should fight the Warden. I'm sure we will if Minecraft works. Yeah, so maybe the stream's not lagging. Maybe you might. Maybe it's just your Minecraft lagging, which sucks. But the uh, it means the stream's all right. I will lower my render distance down to twenty chunks. That seems a little bit better. Jesus crimey. Um, yeah, it actually seems like it's running about as smoothly as your game is. Cool. <laughs> Which isn't fantastic, but is, uh, there's not much we can do about it. Yeah. Okay, it's running a little no, it seems like it's pretty fucking jumpy. I'm gonna shit my pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It says the it says our bit rate is excellent. I don't know. I don't know what to do about that. Apparently lowering simulation distance can also help. lower that down to like eight chunks. I will open 
open up Taskmaster and see if I have anything open that does not need to be open. Task Manager. Welcome to Cake and Glitch <laughs> stream themselves fixing their stream. Yeah. What the fuck is that? I can't tell if that's important or not. Why does Adobe have to be running at all times? Mm -hmm. A list of settings we could adjust if it'll let us. Holy shit. Why are there, why does <laughs> Adobe Creative Cloud have like 18 tasks <laughs> that are just apparently constantly running? Why does Dropbox have like 18 tasks? Ooh, is, I personally just let my computer choke on the bits until it eventually gives up and gets itself together, but y'all got this. <laughs> Thank you. What the fuck? I don't even use Dropbox for, like, anything. Why are you- Did you change simulation open? distance? I did. Okay. I'm trying to change some multiple things. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Why is Epic Games open? Why do you still have it? Sometimes I play it with my friends. I haven't done it in a long time, but sometimes I do be doing that. Now they're all just talking about how many different games, how many different programs they can play. Jess apparently breaks Minecraft and MS Paint. Currently nice. on a quest to crash a notepad. Nice. Mel made the settings app before multiple times. Interesting. Just um, says, I've made Minecraft clash a lot. Throw back to that one time you broke our Minecraft server <laughs> with a giant bell made out of bells. Yeah, that was pretty great. Um, okay, that's I think all the tasks I can get rid of. Okay. So we might just have to go back into it and see how it goes. I did lower my things. Your a game bit. seems to be running smoother. It it is. It is running smoother. So we shall see. I think really the problem is that we just have a shitty internet. We do have incredibly shit internet. I think that's just um, ultimately the main issue. We yeah, we are really bad. It should be. Um, I don't know how far behind the stream is. Probably very. That's just kind of par for the course. It's just kind of how it happens. One to day be. we're gonna have good ass mm -hmm. internet, and we're gonna have like a, a desktop with to stream on cable. with an Ethernet cable, and y'all will not even be prepared. For how smooth our stream will go. <laughs> Y'all won't even be ready. <laughs> it does seem to have improved. We just might have to go with this. Um, yeah. Tell us if it gets worse. Uh, there's a big delay, unfortunately, but... Uh, I think this is the best it's gonna get. Yeah. Oh, right. Tell us oh. if it goes horrifically bad. Otherwise, we're just gonna have to roll with it. 
We are content creators. The main event. Yeah. Um, you want to look at the blocks first? Yes. Cool. So there is frog light. There are three different frog lights. And there's just frogs. Frog yeah, do you know where the frogs? Why aren't you using your mouse, you s- <laughs> What the fuck is your problem? Why do you need sassy words? I'm just, I'm trying to do the- Ah! <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know. I'm trying to do the thing where Why you is click the it. achievement noise so scary? I'm trying to do the thing where you just click a, a, a button and then it goes it just goes into your bar, but I can't. I don't remember that. You thing. hit the numbers. Oh, right. <laughs> God damn. I don't know how to do anything. I haven't played Minecraft in so long. <laughs> Fuck! So this is, wait, there's what? You all didn't know there were frogs. I will. I forgot about the frogs. Okay, so there's frog light one. Then there's a. V- v- that's just frog light. There's o- ochre frog light, and then there's verdant frog light, and then there's pearlescent frog light. Those are very pretty. They make squishy sounds when you place them, but they sound pretty solid when you walk on. I'm gonna turn my sounds up. Frog lights are dropped by tiny magma cubes when they are eaten by frogs. Frogs can eat tiny magma cubes? Tiny magma cubes will be in any way in the vicinity of a frog at any point. Uh, Okay, it is up all the way. Which variant of light is dropped depends on the color of the frog that eats the magma cube. Oh, no, the variant. So there's warm frogs and cold frogs and temperate frogs. I see. Very fascinating stuff. I'm going to time set it to night so I can see how they glow. Oh, they have a significant glow to them. Uh, Apparently they're placed like logs, so it's like they're texture directional. Really? Nice. Yeah. This is pretty sick. Okay. Frogs also eat small slimes. Holy shit, that uh, is The hilarious. next thing is frog spawn, which can't be obtained in survival and is uh, how tadpoles are created. I don't know why I thought clicking it on the ground would work. <laughs> like, that's how frogs are made. Um, yeah, if you breed two frogs, they just make that, and then it turns into tadpoles. But! I wonder how long it takes. I don't know if they'll do it if you just place it. Probably. Can you stand on them? No. No. That would be really rude if you could. (laughs) Uh, Well, there'll be a shit ton of tadpoles. Swag. Okay. Love that. You breed frogs with slime balls. I like how they just, like, didn't add, like, they don't have, like, insects other than bees, so they were like, they'll just eat slimes. They were gonna add fireflies, but then they decided to not do that for... Unknown reasons. Literally. They gave a reason, but it was, like, the world's dumb, dumbest fucking what reason, was it? and I can't remember. <laughs> it was just like, we don't feel like it. It was like... It was like, they didn't want the frogs to eat the fireflies and instead of just not programming instead of just not programming the frogs to eat the fireflies they just didn't make fireflies Uh when they could have made the fireflies and then just not had the frogs eat them that's really weird Um, so Jess says it takes around 30 seconds. It's definitely been that long since I put some of these motherfuckers down. Maybe you have to actually just bleed the frogs. Oh, Jess says, because fireflies are poisonous to some frogs. Right. They wanted to have fireflies and then the frogs would eat the fireflies, but fireflies are poisonous to some frogs. So they didn't want to have that in the game. I guess to discourage people from eating fireflies... 
from feeding fireflies to frogs or something. Uh, so instead of just making it so frogs didn't eat the fireflies, they just didn't they put just, them in there. Well, they just didn't make fireflies. That's really weird. Classic Microsoft L. Um, um, next are mangrove leaves, logs, and their various derivative items. Ah. <laughs> and mangrove roots. So the, the, and the oops. propulates, which okay. are their saplings. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You're not gonna get the log, you fuck. I am gonna <laughs> get the log. <laughs> Muddy mangrove roots. Just as there's a tadpole spot in it. Cool. I don't know if we need to see every single item in this texture, but I grabbed some of the ones that should be unique. That's fair. Um, so this is what the planks look like. It's a very lovely, like, sort of, like, muddy crimson color. Yeah, I really like them. I think yeah. they're pretty. That's very nice. That's good stuff, actually. And then we've got the mangrove logs, which are also pretty nice. Yeah, I like the contrast between the outside and the inside. Yeah, me too. And then there are, of course, the stripped logs. Very sexy, very cool. Um, and then we've got the roots. Which make a very fun noise. They do. And the muddy roots. Which are, you know, they certainly looks like something, that's for sure. <laughs> they certainly, they certainly do. And then there are the leaves, which also just kind of look like leaves. And then there are the propagules. The sapling. Propagul. I just wanted to make sure I was saying the thing right. can grow them into trees. Ooh. I well, it says mangrove propaganda. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Just as mangrove proper panda don't know how to spell it can be grown in the water. Okay, you can only grow them in water. I see. And then who this says mangrove propaganda. And then Mel also says mangrove propaganda. Propaganda. Sure. Whatever you say, gang. Um. <laughs> Spawn that swamp tree. Yeah. yeah. Is these it? are very shaped. These, are, these have got aerial roots out the fucking wazoo. <laughs> Any like, logs in there? Or is that just roots? <laughs> oh my god. No, there's some log. Um, I like how these I trees are just a, a mass of things. There's like two logs. There's like no structure to these what is trees. That? That's the proper ghoul. They grow on the bottom of the trees. See, maybe it needs to be in like deeper water or something. No, I've seen you can no, place you can... them on the sand, you dumb fuck. Okay, you make a good point. <laughs> they grow in the swamp. I will fucking kill you. Have you ever considered that as a possibility? Okay, apparently we just got a wheelie fucking tiny tree. Okay, sick. Oh my god. Yeah, Holy that... Jesus! <laughs> to be fair, that's two trees. I know, but they're I, so tall. I have seen one of these swamps on a different world that I made. Uh, they are dense. Ew, you. I'm loving the. <gasps> Tadpoles! <gasps> they're hatching! Oh, yeah. It took them a million years, but they're there. They, oh. oh my god, they are. They're so plentiful. I told you you'd have a fuck ton of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're cool trees. I like how they're just a mass of shit. They're literally, <laughs> like, they barely look, they don't, they do not, they look like real life trees in the not fact like that Minecraft sometimes trees. they just don't look like trees. Oh, and they, they have not... moss on the roots. Yeah, I like how they spawn with, oh, like, vines geez. and moss and shit on them. Yeah, like, like they just come and... out the ground fully formed. That's excellent. These are good ass trees. I am all about this. And then there's the doors. 
Ooh, that's a nice door. Yeah, I like it. It looks all... That's so mystical looking. Yeah. And then like there's the magic. trap door, which is also pretty poggers. That's you good. You can bone wheel the hanging proper goge to be fully grown in the bottom of the mangrove weed to make one appeal. I think that's it. I think that's as big as it gets. Wow. Five. So exciting. Cool. They anyway. do look pretty cool. Now that was... I, I enjoyed that. That was fun. Um, what's mud. next? Mud. And mud bricks and packed mud. Yeah, okay. It's just kind of the same shit. Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> Squish. <laughs> Damn, sure. I mean, sure looks like mud to me. Do I walk slower on it? No. no. Disappointing. Squish, squish. I need to put my rain boots it on. It kind of looks this. like it would be a good substitute for, like, asphalt. It oh! how squishy it sounds. You're right. Uh, packed mud. So mud just generates in mangrove swamps. You can also create it by dumping a water bottle on dirt. Nice. And then packed mud is crafted with mud and wheat, and then you can turn that into mud bricks. I like the mud bricks a lot. Yeah, they're really pretty. Those, that's good. That's like cobblestone. Hell yeah. Uh, but like, <laughs> not. Um, good stuff. I'm about. <laughs> this is why do the propaganda sticks look the way they do? They Probably because is... that's what they look like in real life. Yeah, sometimes propagation, like plant propagations, look like kind of just like these weird little tendril things. I'm about these mud bricks. They're, oh, they're they like a, a nice sound. shade of brown. I feel like. They're a nice texture, a nice earthy brown, which makes sense because they're, um... I feel like earth. <laughs> brown and tan is like an easy color to like make ugly by mm -hmm. accident, but these are good. It looks like, like, brownstone. You should... Like, you could make some really classy-looking houses with these. Yeah. I'm you should dump it. water on the dirt. Whoa. Do not pay attention to me misspelling water two times. You might, it might need to be dirt. Squash. <laughs> nice. Uh, okay, on to uh, ancient city shit. Okay. Reinforced deep slate. Okay. Anything else in this category? You know. Uh, skulk. Okay. Which is a fun name for a spooky block. Skulk Catalyst, Skulk Shrieker, Skulk Vein. Okay, and then I guess the Skulk Sensor is a different thing. Mm, do I take the Skulk Sensor too? Why not? Skulk. Uh, it'd be wiggling <laughs> for sure. Okay, Reinforced Deep Slate. It is just a block. You can't even get it in survival. Then what's the point of it? It 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 just exists. I guess it looks kind of sick. It does. It looks really sick. Yeah. Um, skulk generates in the deep dark. Oh my god! Listen to the sound this makes me place it. <laughs> it's I'm like a squish that has like reverb to it. It's really it's strange. Sparkly. I love this. I would live in this. I would paint my walls this. Um, Look at that. It only drops... Oh, it drops only experience when broken without silk touch. So you need silk touch to get it. I see. Um, and it... It grows underneath a mob corpse around a skulk catalyst. So if you 
kill a mob on a scope catalyst, it'll glow more skulk. Hey chicken, you wanna come <laughs> over here real fast? Hi that gang. That is, uh, really Does it have to be like horrifying. on it or just like near it? Uh, is this, they just added sacrifices to this game. Come over here, chicky chicky. It just says around. I don't know what the range is. Maybe it'll say, hold on. Um, made of skulk in a bone like material. Oh my god, description. In a bone like material? Yeah. That might just be the wiki person describing it as similar to the Minecraft bone. Um, spread skulk rock to wherever a nearby mob dies. The amount it spreads depends on the amount of experience the mob is meant to drop. Let me get some wheat seeds to get all these chickens in here. Uh, blooms when activated. Also dro only drops experience if you break it without sick touch, emits light, and emits soul particles after a mob dies and grows skulk related blocks. I guess the we'll range get to is see around those. eight blocks. We will be visiting the ancient city. I just um, want to see what happens if I sacrifice a chicken. You should it. make it dark. I should, yes. Because apparently it makes light. Not much. Not much. That feels appropriate. Hi, buddy. <laughs> just spawn something and kill it. No, you have to kill it within eight blocks. Oh my god. Come here! It spreads. That's so ominous. I didn't see it blue. Um, it just kind of had these, like, blue, like, bubble-looking things come off of it. Well, it also has, like, a little, like, sonic boom kind of thing going on. You should spawn something on it and then kill it. Okay. Yeah. Look at this thing. Who loses? They won't add fireflies because, oh no, poison, not realistic, but they turn around and add underground sex. I feel like they're more wary of, uh... I should just get a better sword so I can kill it in one hit. Of, like, inaccurately portraying real things than they are just putting outright... Did you see that? Yeah. Then they are just putting, like, outright fantasy in it. It's a tough chicken. The uh, fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what was that shit? <laughs> Oh, the chicken has a chance to not drop XP. I mean, it's working. It is. Look at that. Um. So I think they're like okay. It's like how they won't have like any real animals be hostile mobs. Like they don't want to. Did you see it bloom? Yeah. See I a little tentacle said come out of it. Yes, I, I saw it a while ago. <laughs> um. So, what is a skulk vein? It generates in a layer on top of blocks and displays in all directions. Uh, you need silk touch. Yeah, there's nothing really It's just the about stuff it. that's like coming out around the. It's, it's just a thing that exists. Yeah. Uh, so, Skulk Shrieker um, has the ability to shriek, admitting ring-like and sonic particles. It is activated by a skulk sensor. It gives players the darkness effect when activated. And naturally generated skulk shriekers, so not ones you place, don't worry, summon a warden from the ground if activated too many times. They will There's little ghosties summon... rolling around in it. Yes, it's got a soul texture. Uh, mm. Shulk Squeakers only summon wardens if there isn't one within 48 blocks. I was really expecting that to be worse. More of like a shriek. Yeah, like that. Um, Skulk Shriek is placed by player grown from a Skulk Catalyst. Cannot summon wardens. Thank fuck. Uh, did you get the darkness effect from it? No, it might be because I'm in creative mode. I could try going into survival. I want to experience the darkness. 
excuses. Okay, yeah, that's fair. They fail sometimes, but I despise them for it. I'm not mad that they didn't make the frogs eat the fireflies. I'm just mad that they didn't put the fireflies in the game. Do I need to be, like, white on it? Like, it's not giving I me the know. darkness effect. Maybe the ones made by players don't do it. Maybe, maybe. not. Um, well, maybe we'll see what happens when we go and find the thing. But that's... I really like that, actually. shut it the fuck up. Okay. Sounds uh, good. And then the skulk sensor... We kind of already saw its deal. <laughs> it basically is used to activate redstone. Swag! So you Love can it. Like, use it to make uh, secret doors and shit, too. So you don't have to, like, touch it to set it up. Mm. You can also use it, apparently, to blow people the fuck up by, like, hiding it in a bunch of TNG underground and someone just walks by and just sets it off. I see. Um, horrific. Um, what's next? <laughs> just, yeah, just says, I think you can only get darkness from the ones that can summon the warden. Ah. And I was like, I heard ghosties and immediately thought it was my other name. I was like, huh? Who, me, what, when, when? <laughs> okay, Oopsie so, doopsie. mobs! Yeah, let Allie, me set it back today. The LA? Alley? I feel like it's probably LA and not Alley. Uh, just give, just the kind alley. of a, a hint of uh, for that. The, the alley. It's, uh, it's like right at the top. How the fuck do you spell LA. it? It's spelled LA. Then why are you pronouncing it Alley? Specifically to annoy you. Okay, Frog. Frog. We already saw the tadpoles. Ooh, and yeah. Let's I want to see Frog. Not to, to the warden right now. Fair enough. <laughs> okay, so let's look at the LA. Oh. Hello. Let me find them. You look like Steve. But like Steve's like soul, and like those co in like a, a comedic in a comedic anime where their soul leaves their body with angel wings. <laughs> oh, you're kind of beautiful, aren't you? Um, you make very interesting sounds. If given a block or item. It finds dropped blocks or items of the same type and brings them to the player. That's so handy. And it will drop its the things it's carrying. And if you play a note block near it. Okay, we gotta try that out. No lore on these. Where do they spawn? Do they spawn? How do they? How do they spawn? Spawn within prisons and wood in woodland mansions and cages and pillars or outposts. I see. So, definitely ghosts. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Literally what what block spawn. should we ask it to retrieve for us? Um. Maybe I'll, I'll do something easy like grass. Well, I think it has to be a drop. Okay, maybe eggs then. Yeah. That actually is a really good way to have like an automated chicken farm. Yeah. Have your little ghost servant do it. Grab the egg. <laughs> Put down the pants. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you using your trackpad? Because my mouse acts weird sometimes. Okay. I don't know how you give it to him. I think you have to click him with it. Maybe. Come here. <gasps> OMG. I'll just throw some on the ground for him to pick up and bring to me. They're just friendly little guys. Oh! OMG. Oh, they're so they're cute! They're so cute! The little giggle! I need to see you do this again. Oh my god, they do it they do it so diligently. Ah, you're so cute. Okay, hold on. Maybe they changed that or something? I don't know. It's doing something to it. 
Oh, maybe that's how you... Oh, I think that's how you, like, summon it back. Oh. So then you can give it, like, a new thing. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe once you give it something, that's just what it's got. Uh, uh yeah, <laughs> This is know. They became LA fans in seconds. Jeff says, if you give it an animal... An amethyst showed it should duplicate. That's interesting. Let me try that. Am. Thank you. Little ghosty. Come back here, please. Okay, I have some of these. Come on. I don't I don't know how to give it one. Maybe you have to, maybe... I'm not they can't drop items there without items to drop there. I don't, I'm not... Does it mean you um, have to be holding an egg for us to replace the egg? They say throw the items. Mel says to throw the items down there. So now hit the note block, maybe? Maybe just... She just keeps spitting them out at once you get them. Just, I, it's, it's still not, old hole in the motherfucking my... egg. <laughs> Thank you. You're doing lovely. I'm not mad at you. I'm mad at the game. Maybe just try clicking it again. Do you not click it good enough? The fuck do you mean? No. Maybe once you give it something, that's just what it has. But then why would it have a note block thing? Just so you can summon it back. The note block sets the LA to drop items there. Okay, it gives them like a, a relay point. Oh. Um, so you can't change the item. I guess not. Okay, whatevs. I'll just spawn a new one and give it to him. Play the note block? Well, how are you supposed to tell if it duplicated it now? Fuck. Gave it like 25. I'll see how many it gives me back. Okay. Uh, well. Yeah, no. It just it didn't duplicate it. Right click the LA with an open hand to take the item. Okay. Oh. Great. Thank you. They're just helpy little, helpful little ghosts. Such helpful little guys, and they're so sweet. So cute. Here, I'll give you your egg back. No. No! She just threw an egg back. Can they be damaged at all? I don't know. It doesn't say. So cute. I love them immensely. Are we ready to move on to frogs now? Yes. They grow from a tadpole. Tadpole. They come... They come in three variants, temperate, cold, and warm. The temperate variant is orange, the warm variant is white, and the cold variant is green. I would have done that completely differently, but sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the temperate Frago. Yes. And he is excellent. Um, frog variants depends on the temperature of the biome, where it turns from a tadpole to the frog. Okay, so we Each gotta go... Each variant is planned to have unique use for players, which remains unknown. One use is for frog Oh my players. god, look at him walking. Oh! The animations in Minecraft have really stepped up their game. Like, yeah. the sharp difference between, like, the animations old mobs have like, and look the at... animations new mobs have... Like, like look, look at the chicken, chicken when it walks. It's just like, flop, 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 and then the... Look at the frog. That is such an impressive walk cycle. He's so beautiful. Oh my god. <gasps> Some of the tables oh have oh, turned into Oh my god, they jump really high. They do the huge. <laughs> I love them. This okay, we gotta go. We gotta go find. We gotta go find different biomes. I think you released a frog. I don't. Oh under. my god, they're oh. everywhere. <laughs> you just released a sturge <laughs> this where, where did they come from? They weren't here 30 seconds ago. This is, what version are y'all playing in? The most recent one. 
just says you can't hurt in a way you've given an item to. They're just so slammed. Oh my god, okay, so we gotta find a really cold place, and we gotta find a really warm place. I'm crying. Um, the Alays are beautiful, beautiful little guys, and so are the frogs. I love these hefty men. You can do, I think, if I spawn one in lava, we'll be warm. I think it'll die if you spawn one in lava. <laughs> yeah, I think mean, well, we'll be warm, folks. <laughs> you can do the biome locate command. Oh, yeah. I think it's actually locate biome. Let's do desert for the warm one. You didn't have chat open, so you can... Did you send the command? <laughs> I did. <laughs> did it. I, I did it like three times. <laughs> oh, okay. And then can I just cool. click on that? Okay, swag. What the fuck is going on? I'll give it a minute, I guess. It says, look it up. You need to have a jukebox playing to be able to dupe the LA. Do you mean damage? Maybe that's like what it needs to like duplicate an item. Oh. Hello. I think it's just, I think <laughs> my game is just going really slowly for some reason. Well, you can still move and stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Everything is you gone. You have to do something. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Um, We're gonna um, teleport you here three times now. Maybe. That's fine. We're just gonna sit here and wait for it to figure out what the fuck is going on. So what's been up with you guys? Uh, frogs jump on lily pads and big drip leaves. They can swim. Hee <laughs> They eat small slimes and small magma cubes. The slimes drop slime bugs. The magma cubes drop. Ah yes, frog the very lights. normal. <laughs> very normal transit. They're both warm biomes. Spawn the frog that is white for some reason. I really do hate the way they're colored then, but like whatever, I guess. I, isn't the I, I, isn't the green one the 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 no. I mean, I guess it's camouflaged for the desert. If I it is, I guess, but it's not for the jungle with the Glossus spawning. Will if it? I. <laughs> was doing this, I would have made the orange ones warm, the white ones cold, and the green ones temperate. I also that's how would have done that. Are generally <laughs> associated. Uh huh. And this isn't really a thing in real life. I mean, there are different colored frogs. Yeah, well, if we were doing it related to how they spawn in real life, then the warm frogs would either be brown or bright fucking blue. Yeah. Like they are in the jungle. Or green. The temperate frogs. There's a lot of green frogs. That's true. Yeah, they probably look like a, the stereotypical like green and yellow. It's, it's mostly just the warm one being white that I find confusing because if it was green, I'd be like, well, it's like a jungle frog. And then yeah. like the temperate one's like a toad. Yeah. But the fact the that it is white is strange. would either be brown or a dull green like they are right there. Now the cold variants are green. And then cold frogs wouldn't fucking exist. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, do cold frogs exist? I think they were mountain frogs. That's certainly colder. Look at them go! Uh, they're so chunky! I do love them. Oh my god. This is violent. Uh, well, delightful. I looked up cold biome frogs first two results are about Minecraft. Minecraft. There's someone else saying frogs on cold biomes should not be green. There's only a single species of green frog that survives in very cold temperatures. 
which is usually gray and white. Um, look at them go. Okay, so let's go look at the green ones. Locate biome. Um, I mean, most frogs seem to hibernate. Yeah. Look at these men. Okay, they're all... Wood frogs. Apparently they live in cold places. Are they green? <laughs> no. <laughs> they, yeah, they're like a, a brown. Kind of like a brown and white sort of scenario. Most frogs are brown. Yeah. Um... Um, so yeah, not very, um, accurate. Just went to a gender clinic recently. Good for you. Oh, so exciting, so fun. You love to see them gender moments. Mel says there's a frog called a mountain chicken. Uh, yeah, since there doesn't <laughs> seem to be any correlation between where frogs live and what color they are, I would have made them logical colors. Yeah, that's fair. Party hmm. screen's fucking weird. Hmm. Maybe it's just my angle. You mean the corner? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's because. What the fuck? Did it spawn me in the ground? Why did. Huh! <laughs> I think it spawns you at the same like depth you were at. Anyway, anyway. Whatever. Um, yeah, no, my screen looks all fucked up because the case is cracking off. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, it's really great. I love it. This just feels wrong. Yeah. Why is that not just like the temperate one? I think that should either be I think that should be temperate or maybe um the warm one because jungles yeah but like that's just like that's like the frog that's what everyone's gonna think of when they think of frogs and it's and only frogs, gonna be in the cold yeah frogs <laughs> are more commonly found in like temperate and warm biomes i would have made the standard frog the temperate biome because that's just what most biomes are mm -hmm. and that's the most common association of a frog and then i would have made the warm frog either like orange or like jungle or like the crazy colored jungle frogs mm -hmm. and I would have made the cold frogs fucking some other bullshit <laughs> yeah well I do love them um I love their little walk cycles I love the big chunky limbs I love how high, I love how they, high they jump <laughs> make it daytime Right. Calm down. Look at him. He's so square. <laughs> they are incredibly I square. I love their little walk. They're I so love their cute. eyes. These are good boys, for sure. Just says you should put leaves on all types of frogs. What happens if you put a leaf on a frog? Uh, I'm looking in the completely wrong section. Christ, you can tell I haven't played in that long. In a long time. Not much. That's really funny. Um, okay, what's next on the list? Tadpole with Um. Boat with chest. I, I mean, I guess we can walk with that. <laughs> okay. I'm saving the big guns for last. Hula would expect them to be blue. I'm assuming either the cold frogs or the warm frogs. Um, 
who is the wise the green frog in the dead of snow it was a weird choice yeah to be sure very strange uh, get out of this fucking snow Mel says OMG me when Minecraft music just says now for the other two types of frogs does it like change I guess you I don't want to have to go okay you a, you can at least do it with the template frogs if you're in a template bio but I'm not hunting down a fucking another desert. Pretty much the same. Yeah. <laughs> you an asshole? Oh, is he finally done laying around? Lazy bitch. Hey, let's go look at this boat with a chest. I didn't change the weather. Boat with chest. Wow. <laughs> Drawing stuff. Can you open the chest? Apparently not when I'm in the boat. Just says, I'm pretty sure the nether will spawn warm frogs. That's really funny. And I says, I think it's gotta be all three at the same time. And he just says, also the mangrove swamp. Why doesn't the swamp you spin me right spawn around, green frogs? Baby, right round, like a record, baby, right round, baby, right round. Okay, can you, how do you get the chest? Oh, you just press your inventory button. Oh. Uh, can you access it when you're outside the boat? No. Vibes. Cool. Vibes. Well, that's pretty swag. Really good for exploring. Yeah. You know, when we take those treks and look, and we get like a shipwreck every two minutes. Yeah. No longer gotta worry about when I'm out of space. It's pretty swag. Um. Okay, what else is there to cover? There is a new enchantment called Sweef, Swift Sneak. It Swift can, Sneak? Swift Sneak. It can only be found in ancient cities. And it has three levels and is only for leggings and it allows the player to walk faster while sneaking. Sounds enthralling. I uh, don't, do we, you want to show it, or like... I think we're good. I think we okay. get the picture okay, on now that. now go to a mangrove swamp. Oh, right, yeah. We gotta see that. These we'll benches, these bio. benches be dense. <laughs> these benches <laughs> be dense. So true, Glitch. <laughs> so true. <laughs> oh, says, you spin me right round, baby. Like a record, baby, right round, baby, right round. It just says, didn't I put that song on a music disc before? You can do such strange things. <laughs> wow, wow. So will the uh, fucking thing summon a warden on us <gasps> in creative mode? I am in the mud. <laughs> These bitches be dense. Holy macaroni. Yeah. You can't see shit. I can't. I can't tell. I, I couldn't like how, tell where the water was. I like that the mud is all purplish and the water is kind of green. I think that makes a fun contrast. It feels very spooky. Oh my god! Hi guys. Why do they spawn the white one? I don't know why they're white and not green or brown. It feels really incorrect. These are far swampier than the regular swamp. This feels like like Shrek would be here. This is like a like, real ass. This is a real. This is what real ass swamps are like. You ever seen swamps? They do not look like just they do in to Minecraft. Drag the last warm frog around. I don't know why they're so like she's so <laughs> okay, insistent. Fine. I guess since we're here, where'd they go? Froggos. Holy 
moly. Yeah, some of these are really oh tall. Oh my god. Why is the swamp man sitting there really? Why is This it is not there? how things work. Um why wouldn't it be, you know? I guess there's There's the beast. <laughs> this little twat. Come here. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> the squad hops That's into why. town. Oh, wait, let's see him swim. Oh my god, they're much faster in the water. So they are. Look at him go. Oh. Splishy splashy. So that's why. <laughs> Delightful. Um, I well, mean, this is... this is such a great biome. I can finally become the bog witch I've always wanted to be. Hell yeah. Hello. Uh, who this is? This is so morally wrong. White frog and swamp. Yeah, I don't like Mel it. Says, White frog and swamp. Aerial roots. I'm talking aerial roots. Got I a love song them. prepared for aerial roots? <laughs> yes. I, I saw it. Oh, it's on the roots. Hello. This I saw is... it in a YouTube video. I. <laughs> It's weird. Don't ask why I've seen a YouTube <laughs> video that has a song about aerial loots. <laughs> yes, yeah, so the mangrove swamp counts as a warm biome for some reason. Have you ever been to a swamp? Swamps are very warm <laughs> in soupy places. <laughs> swamps are only in, like, really warm environments, swamps like closer are... to the equator. Swamps are humid as hell. I mean, I do think there are more, some more temperate swamps. But this kind of swamp. Most swamps, very damp, very warm, very humid. I think the temperate ones are generally called wetlands. Yeah. Not really swamps. Yeah. I think swamps are kind of wetlands. Uh, they are, I think. I mean, there's some, there's some real wetland. This is so good. I am loving this swamp biome. This so much good. mud and big trees. Good, 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 good. Could good, just good, build good, a house good. nest. Exactly. Yeah. I don't know why this soup biome, rainforest, but melty. Oh yeah. Oh my god! Look at the cliff with the mud formation on it. That's so that pretty. dope as hell. I don't think swamps tend to get very hilly. No, they're very uh, flat. They're very flat. Which, to be fair, most of this is. So. Yeah. This is good. This is a good biome. I approve. It is almost completely surrounded. It is it's completely surrounded. Yeah. A swampy oasis in a desert. By this fucked up cliff formation. Just Look says, at that. Oh, hell yeah. Just says everything is soup if you think about it. And who this is? Denied. Look at this. Wow. <laughs> Is, is, That's cool as shit. It's so funny to me. Oh my god. Is, uh, yeah. It's, Look at this. There's so many floating things. What the fuck happened? This is good you? stuff. This is really good. This and then there's really a tiny good. pond. Tiny little pond. This is good stuff. For sure. All right. Now it's time for the horror show. Oh god. locate. Uh, actually, structure. Loc uh, locate still. Locate. Structure. Ancient city. Oh my god. At least we're not doing it in survival. Uh, yeah. Shout out. Never doing that, ever. It might put you, like, above it. Mmm. You're right. I'll have to dig down. Yeah. Well, actually, you might be in a cave. I don't know. It don't. Judging off of the one piece of ground <laughs> that's here, I don't think it's a cave. All right, gang. It says, "Sorry, y'all. I ate that mointon. That's why there's <laughs> floaty chunks. I forgot to finish." <laughs> you good? <laughs> no. I ate that moint. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna dig straight down now. Don't mind me, fellas. You're gonna dig straight down. 
would have just gonna be dead. They would have killed it's you. It's not ass. like it'll kill me in creative mode. You'll have to uh, start paying attention eventually. Yeah, about now is when I'm paying attention. <laughs> I can't either. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Let me. Okay, my screen brightness is up all the way. You can see this wonderful vignette around <laughs> my screen where it oh is my broken. God. Um, holy oh. macaroni! Oh, hello. God, this looks so cool. This looks so cool. Oh, oh the candles. candles. Oh, what the fuck? And then some blue They've got fire. Soul fire. Wow, an epic chest. <laughs> Blame the most terrific part of Minecraft for a single golden apple. When you probably There's have so, so many much of gold. these. Can you like sneak past them? Like, how are you supposed to traverse this place without setting something off? Uh, judging by that, unless that achievement is sarcastic, it seems like maybe you can. Okay. <laughs> you set off a shrieker. <laughs> okay, you know, I, I take back uh, what I said about that shriek being underwhelming. When it happens uh, unexpectedly in the dark, that is horrifying. Yeah. And then especially if you were in survival mode? No. Apparently I, it doesn't instantly summon a warden. Though. No, it, it, it does it if you set it off too many times. Um, they nerfed the warden not by making the warden any actually easier, but just by making it so it has to be summoned instead of it just existing. This is much better. Uh, much less horrifying than the original concept, because... When it was originally announced, the warden just existed in the deep dark. And the deep dark wasn't like a biome, it was just a thing uh -huh. that you got to at a certain... When you, like, got a certain distance underground, and the warden was just, like, in there. Yeah. Like, you could just be minding, mining, mining your own business and just plop down into a tunnel with a demon in it. Uh, but now they only spawn in ancient cities. There's a, um some demon self-care going there on here. There's a spooky ritual bath. Yeah, just take a nice little really... soak with your candle ambiance. With every update, <laughs> uh, they want us to do the the, the night vision. I yeah, wanted to I get some should. idea of the ambiance without it, but I think we've got it. Yeah. Um... Do you guys like my new player tag? I had to get a new one because I had to repurchase <laughs> Minecraft for $32. With every Minecraft update, the lore gets... Are you going to give it to yourself for five whole seconds? Yeah. <laughs> gets more and more uh, interesting. Oh. Wow. Yeah, they look cooler in the dark. They do. Hello. That is a portal of some sort that does not have a purpose yet. That's terrifying, actually. It was. It might. People say it's a portal. I guess I don't know for sure if that's what it means. It sure looks like one. I the 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 Minecraft lore is so deeply unsettling. Yeah. Like, in the nether, there's just these huge skeletal forms for something so massive that doesn't exist anymore. Um, there's, like, these, like, ancient fragments of things uh, and, and, like, uh, portals that don't do anything anymore. It's whoa, whoa, ho, ho. Oh, there's the swift sneak. There's... Oh, oh fucking Christ! Hi! How's it going, homie? Jesus! He just <laughs> crawled out of the ground. Oh my 
got he's kind of amazing actually in no, creative he's great. mode in creative mode look at him he's oh my Honestly, god he's kind of cute he is kind of cute i'm sure i would be pissing and screaming if i was in survival mode but now he's that so i'm in thin. he's Wait, he, he, he's he's kind of like the same thickness as like a golem he looks so no golems have like chests to them that's fair you know? like he looks so like wide in the shoulder and then he's so like square yeah he's kind of cute Ooh, the way he's sniffing <laughs> right because he's blind isn't he yeah i guess you don't really need to see when this is your habitat yeah, should I go into actually... should I go into survival mode and see how long it takes for him to like it, fucking fuck me up? Give yourself something. <laughs> I, it doesn't actually matter. He can one shot you no matter what. But <laughs> can he? I didn't realize he could do that. He seems fucking pissed as hell. Apparently, there's something. Like the way that he's shambling around is really funny to me. Um, you should give yourself some snowballs so they distract him. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Snowball. <laughs> You're gonna get your shit fucked. Yeah, I am. For sure. And this is you with, in a, with the best advantage you can give yourself. Yeah. Without fucking with like potions and stuff. Well, that's really horrifying, actually. Oh, yeah, they can give you blight. So the night vision actually doesn't matter. <laughs> There's like literally not even any stakes in this, and <laughs> I'm freaking the fuck out. Can he get up yeah, here? I think he has a ranged attack. Ah! Yes, he does! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that was so fucked up. That was so fucked up. That was so fucked up. <laughs> That was so. That was that was really fucked up. I don't even know where he is now. I don't know where my spawn point was set to. Um. <laughs> well, there aren't. I think there's only one ancient city. I'll just have to go to it again. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll set my spawn point to there as well in case we decide to fuck with it again. Yes, it's, it's not blindness, it's darkness. It's different, I promise. Well, they never implemented blindness in any meaningful way in Minecraft, so I don't know why they bothered to come up with darkness. Yeah. The separate effect. I think it's just blindness but less severe. Hello. You in the ground. I guess I'll just dig down then. This is, I'm pretty oh, sure the range to attack in. ignores the enchant. This is, there are many ancient cities in the world. Are there? Well, I guess as long as we get to one of them. Yeah. Uh, it's called the Sonic Boom. It's attacked. What? Ah! Another one just the, comes the fuck these out. These are fantastic. These cities. The crazy, spooky ambiance. You need to find one of the weird portal things and look at the I know, I want to look at these, though. Hello. I like that there's just wool here as well. <laughs> but yeah, there's like all these... In Minecraft, there are all these abandoned structures. Like mm -hmm. mine shafts and the bastions and... Well, those aren't abandoned. But, like, they don't seem capable of doing that. Well, you know? no, there are, 
No bastions, and I think there's another structure in the nether that's like abandoned. Yeah. What the fuck is that? I mean, there's the nether fortresses, which only have blazes, and I don't think those count as zombies. They don't have arms. Um, yeah. There are zombies says, and skeletons, but no people. Says, darkness has, like, a pulsing effect to it. Oh, hey. We're near, um... A cave. That's very funny. <laughs> One of those uh, little uh, fun little these, caves. These like idyllic whimsical things. This is a very cool thing. It's like a radial design with this thing in the middle. Yeah, it is. So there's something under here. Yeah. I'm gonna find what it gives me. Do I have to like dig into it? I don't know. Maybe it's on the other side? It seems to be like an entry point. Like how when we when we say there's something underneath it, like how underneath I, we I talk don't in know. here. Jess, give us <laughs> answers. Uh, apparently, wool can block the sound to the senses. Oh. Now this was actually the Jess method called the asonically charged. Says, Yo, the thing on its face is definitely a nose. Huge nose on its face and a mouth on the stomach. That would make sense. But that like looks like a mouth though. It looks like a mouth, but it does make sense that it would be a nose, considering that it like sniffs so loudly. Uh spawns in the deep dark biome, specifically when too many skulk streaks are created, or emerges from the ground when someone digs back into the ground when it doesn't sense any vibration after sixty seconds. Horrific. So you have to like hold still, I guess, and hope it doesn't fucking kill you. Yeah. Um, first fully blind mob. Because of if it stumbles as it walks, it has a sense of smell. It can detect any, can detect and pass fine towards the general location of a player or mob through its smelling action. Player type smelling the player or mob that is that it is most suspicious of rather than the one closest to it. Interesting. So it has some degree of intelligence then. Um, I guess so. Has a sense of vibration when sensing movement, it passes lines towards the source of the movement. Spells and text players, mobs, and other entities that make vibrations. It does not attack other wardens. When it detects vibration. Oh, I found what Jess was talking about. Oh, there's like glass and shit. What the fuck? There's like redstone structures. Yeah, there's the like Lord. definitely some like ancient civilization that was doomed like centuries ago and now we're just like the lone human. Like still the Minecraft lore, it. Minecraft's so fun and whimsical and then the lore is just like there were haunted mansions and ghosts and ancient abandoned structures. Coded by demons. What's that sound? It says there's a way to trigger the piston door, but it's probably too complex. Kuba says this is a dungeon. They did experiments in here for sure. Apparently, Mel and Jess sound? made a religion based on moss. I think I vaguely remember that. It does not detect, the warden doesn't detect players that are sneaking. It can detect players or mobs that have the invisibility to f effect or bump into it. Becomes more suspicious of a player or mob as it detects its location more through vibrations and or smelling. Suspects the target enough it identifies its exact location, which aggravates or causing it to pass fine towards the target to attack regardless of outside distractions. Is the only mob that spawns in the deep dark, deep dark biome. Mob There's a, uh... A lectern and it's a bunch of redstone shit it is uh, a mob designed to be extremely difficult intended to be avoided or fled from this is why it's such tough shit you're not supposed to fight it um, has a way to counter cheesing strategies like pillowing up to avoid attack the solution does not involve block rating rather more 
optimal psychological effects. The fuck does that mean? Did you piss something off by shooting it? I don't it, like, know. It did shriek at me. I think it was just like one of the sensor things going off. Incredibly it activated sh- something, but I don't know what. Incredibly strong, doing 32 damage. That is 16 hearts of damage. That is more hearts than you have. Jesus Bringing Christ. players wearing full Weather Knight armor from full health to three and a half hearts. Yeah, saw that for sure. When the player is out of range for the warden to attack, it uses its ranged attack, a blast of particles that kills the player immediately without any armor. Currently has 500 health points. Oh my god. That is 250 hearts. The range of speed is between that of a walking player to a sprinting player. Seems to have knockback resistance. Because of this, the warden isn't needed to receive the achievement monsters hunted. Just as I think there's a bat messing with the sensors, but bats don't spawn here. Nothing. Well, that was the en- well, that's where the entrance was. Okay. Well, you gotta figure that shit out. Just says it's a redstone tutorial. That's pretty funny. A uh, redstone, ch- the warden's chest has a glowing core that appears to brighten and dim in tandem with the darkness effect. The core creates a low throbbing or heartbeat sound as it pulses. The sound and animation sped- speed up rapidly as the warden gets more suspicious of or closer to attacking the player remote. Is about 3.5 blocks tall, making it one of the tallest mobs, tallest mobs in the game, exceeding the Iron Golem and Enderman in height. Holy shit. Jesus Christ. However, the Iron Golem has a wider hitbox. Iron Golems are thicker, I told you. Do we want to bring this boy back? We should see if it attacks another mob. Like, have it fight it out with something else. Could make it fight an Iron Golem, I guess. Will it fight it, do you think? Probably. I don't know. It fights what's it's sus- what it says it's suspicious of. There are bats down here. Oh, maybe they, maybe they spawned in from the f- five blocks of lush cave in front. Spawn like a zombie or something and see what it does. Who absolutely fuck <laughs> up a zombie? Yeah, that's, that's what I want to see. Spawn like a horde of zombies and see what it does. Uh huh. Zombie I to spawn one, though. Uh, I think the zombies can send them out. Oh my god. Why? He was terrifying. Yeah, that is definitely like a nose. I can't unsee it as a mouth. Go on. Maybe it doesn't care about it? No, it's... It is funny that it only seems to be going after, that it only goes after things with, like, via vibrations. Instead of just sound? Instead of just sound. Oh, it's going after the bat. Maybe it doesn't mind zombies. Maybe it and the zombies are like... Oh, no, it might be going after a zombie right now. Yeah. <laughs> no, it is, not not. Friends, it is not friends with anybody. Spawn a bunch of these motherfuckers. I was expecting it to, like, eradicate them, but it annoys them for 45 seconds. Yeah. Warden's a bit stupid. <laughs> I, I don't think... I think because a lot of mobs don't spawn down here, it is not meant to... It's not coded to react to a large collection of Probably. beings. It does look. Oh, it is absolutely brutal, though. It's just screaming and then charging at these things and just killing them at once. It says the warden will attack anything that moves. Hula says, "Eat the bats. Eat the bats." No thanks. Um, Hula says, "See, I told you it's a big old sip machine." And then just says, "If you put a warden in the melee in their own boxes, the warden can't kill the melee because it will reach and put them in." But it can apparently fuck it up physically, I guess. 
I like when it sees, uh, like when, um, like a sound wave hits it and its little antennas go off. Yeah. Very cute. I'm gonna go get this butt bitch or not. Excellent stuff. This is a bit slow. I guess that makes sense because it's supposed to be like a stealth avoidance type mob. Yeah. And it, it's also uh, it has nothing to fear from anything ever because it's just the strongest mob in the whole game. Yeah. I kind of want to see it crawl back into the ground now, but. Apparently, Iron Bowl will attack the bondage. I'm sure that goes really I like don't want to sacrifice an iron golem to it, uh -huh. but also I want to see him play. Yeah, that's fair. Fuck. Mm. He makes it. Oh fuck! That's not what I meant to do. He makes such sad sounds. I love him. I love him too. He's cute the whole time. Ah. Go! Duke it out, guys! Oh, oh. <laughs> wow! He is well. much beefier than an Iron Golem is. Yeah. Look at how big he is! Hi! He's taller than an Enderman. I don't believe that. He doesn't look tall. Maybe it's just because he's wider. Like, yeah, Endermen he's are very skinny with, like. Endermen are very skinny with, like. Size is how tall they are. Uh huh. Fuck. Um. Sounds like something tiny, like an Indian. Oh my god, oh it my is god. taller. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck is that shit? <laughs> <laughs> he don't know what to do! He's like, what the fuck are you? <laughs> You're from a different dimension, bitch. I think he knows what to do with Endermen since they teleport. Yeah, maybe the Endermen would just teleport away. Yeah. I think he's pissed. No, I think he's killing... There's something on the other side of that that it just murdered. I... Well, it wasn't the Endermen. No, I don't think it knows what to do with the Endermen. Following. It's fucking trying though. It's pissed. Oh, is it trying to kill the Enderman and the Enderman keeps teleporting away? I think so. I think that's. Oh no, the Enderman is attacking. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh. That was a that was a more epic showdown <laughs> than the Iron Golem was. I think we found the closest thing to a fight that the Warden can have. If you have enough golems that you can win against the Warden with the power of numbers, <laughs> apparently. Just has tried it in about five to eight iron golems can do it. Oh my god. So when you go to raid the deep dark, you could just come with fourteen thousand iron golems. Honestly. Except they like set off all the sensors and just keep spawning all the void. Oh yeah, you're right. Um, I wanna see him go back into his hole. And you gotta not cause any vibrations. He's such a guy. I love him. I actually. love him too. Um, he's, he's terrifying, terrifying, but I love he. I want to be his friend. <laughs> I want to be friends with the warden. I guess he kind of can in creative mode. Yeah, we can be buddies. But I just gotta keep making noise so he doesn't crawl into the ground. Oh, there he goes. Bye! Squelchy. That was really good. I enjoyed that immensely. This is such Luka a cool says, would thing. two wardens fight each other? Uh, no. It says in the description on the wiki that wardens do not fight each other. Look at this. There's like an outpost here. Wasn't there like a piston door under the thing? Oh god, I just summoned one again. It's alright. Hi, buddy. Oh, 
Oh, whoa. Echo shard. The fuck are these? Oh, yeah. What are these for? Kind of... I think I saw them and then we're like, those are amethyst shards, even though they're fucking wrong. Mm. Echo shards can only be found in the loot chests of ancient cities. They can be used to craft the recovery compass. Oh, yeah, there's more shit. Yeah, we didn't go over any of the items. I kind of forgot. Do you want me to go back up to the surface, or do you want to just do it down here? Let's just do it down here. It's good ambiance. It um, is. So there's the echo shard. There's goat horn, which have existed, but I think I've gotten an update. Uh -huh. Drop when a goat lands a tree or other hard block that occurs naturally where goat spawn includes copper ore, emerald ore, iron ore, log, pack, ice, and stone. Goats do not land other solid blocks. Why is there like 80 different ones with different okay. things? Okay, can play a sound that can be heard from far. Each own horn has its own sound based on the goat that it originated from. There's your answer. It has eight variants. Four of them are exclusive to screaming goats. The eight variants are ponder, sing, seek, feel, admire, call, yearn, and green. This is other very interesting lore. These are very mystical goats. Uh, can also be found in pillage outposts and that's all there is. Okay, are well, this is Ponder. Delightful. Oh, so they're like, are they like note blocks? I guess. Or they just make sound. And then this is Sing. <laughs> These are funny. These are. Then this is Seek. That's pretty good. This is Feel. <laughs> okay, this is admire. That's I'm not, not admiring I, that. That's not what I would have chosen. Call. Personally. Are these the screaming goat ones? They're horrifying. I feel like they must be. Yearn. Yeah, the first good. few were funny, and then these are all, like, really scary. Dream. These are very whimsical names for some truly awful sounding instruments. Yeah, the first two were so goofy, funny, pleasant cartoon, and then the rest of them were like, boy. <laughs> well, those are the horns. That's fun. Uh, recovery compass. A new type of compass which points to the last place where the player died. Oh, that's handy. Spins randomly when the player is not in the same dimension that they last died in. Can be crafted by one compass surrounded by eight echo shards. I mean, I'm not gonna follow it back to my last point of death, because I'm pretty sure that was in a different ancient city. But, uh, uh and swag. Then there's disc fragments, which can be used to craft music disc 5 and it is a new music in music disc 5 is a new music disc obtained by restoring it from its fragmented state by crafting 9 disc fragments so I guess we should see what that sounds like I, I'm assuming it's this one no it says seek is the sound that plays during a pillager raid I think it just says call sounds like the start of a movie and then it says oh my I just had a stupid idea Okay, let's get the jukebox out to you. Oh my god. Do you mind? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe turn off uh, your background music. Do that. Fuck. Great. <laughs> Let's do that. Maybe you should go somewhere quiet. Hi. <laughs> I think you're attracting it with the. 
I'll go somewhere quieter. They're just really loud. Avant-garde stuff. <laughs> It says on the wiki that it's similar in nature to Eleven. I don't remember another Minecraft song sounding like it. No, yeah, there's another scary one. I know there's another scary one, but... Well, I think that's what they mean by similar in nature. What the fuck? There were words in there. <laughs> I cannot comprehend what I am hearing. This crime certainly exists. Remember what we were saying about Minecraft's unsettling lore? Very unsettling. Very existential. Very creepy. Like, this is found in fragments in this ancient state. Yeah. I think that's the end. Someone recorded that. Uh, you should check out Eleven. I should. If you want. I feel like I, I feel remember. like I know I've I know I've heard it, but it's I like can't another remember. one where it's like instead of music, it's just some creepy bullshit. <laughs> yeah. I just don't remember there being one that was like sounds. <laughs> Yeah? Is that like the same weird creepy noises or whatever? I don't think I've ever listened to this in full because I'm pretty sure I started listening to it one time when I was like 12 and I was like, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, this is my favorite song. Yeah, this is kind of the same shit. It is. It definitely oh. gives. <laughs> they definitely both give the impression of desperately trying to escape something. I like. And the fact that they're both broken is also upsetting. I like. <laughs> How it's all very like human noises, like real life, not Minecraft noises, and then there's just the sound of someone pillowing up playing Fortnite. Yeah, that could almost sounds like that. 
11, oh, 13 is the other spooky one. Right. But, like, that almost sounds like they're being attacked by the window. Mm hmm. Because, <laughs> like, the sound the thing makes. 13 I'm, is actually music. Yeah. It's just scary sounding. Oh, I could bust it down to this all day. Pull up to the club and, and suggest this from the DJ. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is this is my aesthetic. <laughs> Gender. <laughs> That's spooky Minecraft music is kind of my gender. <laughs> you know. Body records to my feet, feet and we're lost in time. I am yours and now you are mine. I like how this is only day for the later, but I like how like they've added two music hits recently, and one of them is this really scary sounding sound they were someone seemingly running for their life from something. Mm -hmm. That you find broken woke pieces. By a demon, and then the other one they, which has like so many terrifying implications, and then the other one is dubstep made by pigmen, and it just implies that the barbaric pigs that live in the Nether really like dubstep, <laughs> <laughs> and it's a fucking banger. It is. This is, I think, the best Minecraft music. But it's just like, they're these very, like, you know, warrior pigs that live in the nether that, like, attack you on sight. And it's like, they just really like dubstep. They're gym bros. They're <laughs> alpha males. <laughs> oh, man. The warden just gets, gets summoned by this and then just fucking kicks my ass. <laughs> Anyway, we should probably go back to what we were doing. Uh, well, that's it. That's it? That's, that's everything? Yeah. Oh, it's swag. Unless... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Oh, well, oh, you this? can regenerate clay by placing mud over a dripstone block with a stalactite. That's and the dripstone cool. will dry out the mud and turn it into clay. This just leads in from, like, a normal cave. Yeah, how else like, do you think it works, bitch? I don't know, but, like, it's just... I feel like it would be very terrifying for me to just be, like, mining, um, not really fully processing how deep I am, and then I just see that. It's <laughs> certainly less terrifying than the other aspect of it just... Like, once you reach a certain level, you just get dropped into it, and there's a warden waiting to murder you. Yeah. Uh, it's certainly cooler, too. The NPCs are much cooler than the weird stone tunnels they had before. Yeah, for But, sure. yeah, it would definitely be something to just be trying to mind your own business mining in a cave, and you walk over, and you just see the fucking skulk, and you're like, da 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 Yeah. Yeah. I mean, really cool update. <laughs> I'm very happy that I repurchased, even though I am pissed that I had to. Oh, oh my god, these bitches won't chill out now. So this is the talk of the horror themes underlying in the Minecraft mode being vaguely audible under the music. <laughs> music is so funny. Is it how loud? Is it was it really loud the whole time? You guys have to tell us these things. I don't know. <laughs> that is really funny. I don't even have it up that high. Guys. We balance the game audio to be lower than our microphone. Is it because we're not close to it? Well, we checked it from this distance. We did. 
God. What? God. God, hold on. Have you not been able to hear us this whole time? Hey, hey, wait. Hey, wait. <laughs> now, hang on. What the fuck? It looks pretty audible to me. We're like peeking the microphone almost. <laughs> This is ridiculous. <laughs> what what is the point of having you guys if you're just gonna sit there in silence as <laughs> we fuck up over and over again? <laughs> you have to tell us when something sounds bad or looks bad or is bad or we just won't know. <laughs> this is how I was laughing too hard to say anything. <laughs> Bad audience okay, member. But that means it's, it was just when the music box was playing. It like that's it kind of, that's what whole, I assumed. I didn't think it was the whole stream. stream. What is that weird block? What weird block? Like go back up to the bridge thing. That shit. Huh? That. What is that? Chisel the deep slate. Okay, that's what that is. <laughs> I don't think that's the new. I think I have. Oh. Triggered so many that now whenever I trigger one, it's like he's here. I'm just gonna dig up into this. Wasn't there like hold on? Wasn't there like a a piston door in that thing underneath the city? Yeah. Did you go through that? Yeah, it just leads you back outside. Oh, okay. I don't know how you're supposed to get into it. Uh, if that's how you get out of it. Why you just go? I guess so. It seems weird to have like a puzzle to get into it, to get out of it, but not, but to get into it, you just gotta dig. Cause it's like, I can just dig back out. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is definitely suspect, but I'm too small brain to like know what it's any really of it is. It's really funny that it's like a redstone tutorial. Uh huh. But like the implications. The lore here is horrific. Swampsh. The technical difficulties are still. No, it's not. I got rid of it. The technical difficulties. What? <laughs> I pressed the live button. I know I did. This is ridiculous. What if we just ended the stream by spawning a zillion? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that sounds like a pretty good way to go about it to it's a me. Bag. Swag. Um, what if I, like, stood up here, I just coated myself. And now that I own it with like protection five. <laughs> just see how long you can last. And just saw one how warden. just see how long I can last. Against one warden or a thousand warden. I don't know. Is there a protection just five or does wardens it just go versus Ender Dragon? I feel like the Ender Dragon might win that. Based on the fact that it can fling things into the sun. And, like, would we be going to the end to do that? Because if we go to the end to do that, then the warden would probably just get slung into the void. Yeah, I feel like that would be, uh, <laughs> unfortunately underwhelming. Uh, Mel's telling us to wish listen to other side. Is that a music disc? <laughs> <laughs> Who is this? Why is this the battle to the death? About to die in ten seconds instead of five. <laughs> I guess just a warden's plural, so we could spawn like a thousand wardens. I guess that's fair. I don't I really feel, feel like, like doing that. Because then they'd did. also like be attacking all the endermen. Yeah. Um, I just want to see how long I can last with, like, beef-ass armor. Melody, I don't know what the other side is. Is that a music disc? Putting on armor. There's another one, I think. Oh, God. Now 
many are there right now? Yeah, I just don't know where one of them is, which is terrifying. The fact that you can have more than one in one city is kind of terrifying. Yeah, it like is. It puts a limit on how many blocks there can be between them. Other side was the only item added in 1.18. Oh, we should listen to that guy. I Get see. Get some jams going for you, uh, tragic fight to the death. Yeah, that'd, that'd be fun. That'd be fun. I'm going to give myself literally like such beefy shit. I'm gonna give myself a bow with like infinity and power on it. Um, just cause. Just for some shits and giggles. Oh my god. Okay, I don't need three stacks. Maybe that's it going underground again. Maybe so. Um. Just stay in diamonds. Get yourself some splash damage. Why? Yeah. Am I even gonna try to go up a against, like, like, how many am I going to be going Just up against? Just make the legitimate attempt to kill the one standing right there. Okay. See, because he accused the thing. I am, like, make not good. Make a legitimate attempt to kill the thing. We should put flame on you, though. I should. Did I leave my anvil? Fucking idiot. It's just groaning. Sure is. Maybe it went back underground. Maybe so. Nope. <laughs> Did not. Okay. Now set up a jukebox with your awesome Fuck. soundtrack and try to kill the fucker. You could maybe just stand on that tower and fucking uh, shoot at it. Yeah, but I want it. I don't know. Um, <laughs> Does that feel too cheap? No. <laughs> I am cheap. <laughs> okay. Um. Just get myself a new arrow in a minute. And then what are we looking for? Other side. Swag. Why not put the arrow in your inventory and then you've got more space for potions? You make a good point. This is a fun music too. <laughs> Very totally inappropriate. Yeah, I think all the new music discs have been better than the old ones. Yeah, I think so. All the old ones so are I've kind of So I've got two wit regeneration, two healing, and one strength. I should tune it down so they can hear me, probably. Um, I'll do leaping, too. Why not? I don't think that'll help. Like, probably not. Um, That's the music for... That is the game music, isn't it? Why? <laughs> <laughs> that was not my fault! My mouse is weird, and it'll, like, it double-clicks a lot. 
Why are you getting an anvil? I don't know! <laughs> uh, yeah, leave me alone. Jess says totems could be helpful. Yeah, get a totem of undying so you have all the half hour left to the wood. Can punch you in the face one more time. Yeah, I suppose might as well. Okay. Oh, they suggested endo pearls. Oh, that's probably a good idea. I would put a totem. Just put a totem. Does that work? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Um. Okay. Cool. All right. <laughs> oh my god, this is gonna. Okay. This is gonna be survival mode time. Legitimate. Uh, this is a legitimate attempt to kill the warden. Oh shit, you can't shoot it from this far away. No, I can't. Because you can't see it. They really did think of everything. Because I was like, you know, if you can just, like, I know the sonic boom was meant to combat people pillowing up, but I was also like, you just have to pill up a certain distance and you're fine, but no, you're not. Yeah. Where is it? Where is he? This is horrifying! <laughs> Shoot an arrow to the flame doesn't do shit to it. No. Hiding behind that clock will not save you, Kiki. I'm aware. You saw it gun down an enderman through a wall. I'm aware. It can... It doesn't need to see... Oh, oh my god! god. It, yeah, fuck. just sonic blast to you. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Okay, the apples actually help quite a bit. You have to be able to see it. Hiding here does nothing! God. I thought maybe I wouldn't be able to. It wouldn't. Ow! Oh I thought God. maybe it wouldn't see me! Ah! <laughs> what do you mean? You thought it wouldn't be able to see <laughs> you? <I'm> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I never see okay, okay, okay. That's not what I meant. I thought that, like, since it can't see me. If I didn't make any sound, that it wouldn't keep shooting at me. It can smell you. <laughs> well, that happened. <laughs> um. Ah, brilliant. <laughs> I'm an epic gamer. <laughs> Well, that was incredibly <laughs> stressful. Um, so I guess that's the update. I can't. I almost said a new update, but it's not new. You guys already knew all of this. We weren't benefiting you guys at all <laughs> by doing this. Um, I just haven't played Minecraft in a really long time, and I missed it. And um, we thought it would be fun to kind of go through it, because we normally do, but we didn't because of extenuating circumstances aka microsoft being a bitch and now i have an xbox account that i will never use because i do not have an xbox <laughs> vibes <laughs> that was fun i think this is a cool update yeah no definitely i i'm really digging it i love the new biome um love the frogs um, love the, the LA's. Hello, sweetums. You are my favorite. Um, and yeah, I mean, the ancient cities are really fucking cool. They're just also really terrifying I will and upsetting. I literally never set foot in one. I will literally mode. never uh, go there. Ever, 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 ever. Everyone says it was fun. <laughs> Jess says it was fun. Mel says it's okay. It was entertaining. So they don't mind us doing a six month wait update on the whatever the fuck. Yeah. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for joining. Oh, my so folks. They jump so high. Uh, thank you all for joining today. Thank you for bearing with us uh, with our really abysmal content schedule. Um, I will make no promises about doing 
uh, streaming more regularly because I say that every time and then it's always three months until we do another one. But I would like to do it more frequently. We'll I would see. I would I would be happy to doing that. Um whether or not I will whether or not that'll happen dunno. Um but yeah, thank you guys for bearing with us and thank you guys for laughing at uh how bad I am at fighting things and I'm glad you enjoyed us freaking out about frogs and uh, uh, mud mud bricks um, <laughs> now that's all I gotta say uh, <laughs> Mel says see y'all in three more months lol yeah um, we, we, you know, it's a, it's a roast, but it's also might just be true. Um, see y'all 2023. <laughs> okay, listen, we've got like a month left of the semester. If we can't stream even once in December when we've got no classes or anything to deal with, I'll be disappointed in us. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. So, bye Mel, bye Jess, bye Hula, and bye everybody else, too. Goodbye! Wah!